aquí agua que impide que yo sea bautizado. Amen. But before, before, before this happens, my son asked me to give him a few moments or two to speak, to say something, and I'm going to let him do it. You want to stay, hermano Ila? Okay. We, we, we talk about baptism all the time in, in our church and I think we talk about it as a, a ritual of rites and I stop to think of what baptism means to me and I am I remember John the Baptist And John the Baptist was a man who set his life aside for a singular purpose, which was to minister and to bring the, the thought of hope for Israel. And his ministry took him to the wilderness. And this is why the Bible talks about him kind of wearing animals clothes and eating locusts because the ministry had taken him so far from from where life was was thriving it took him to the darkest places for him to get closer to God and in all that his singular purpose was to baptize greater men John was seen as one of the greatest prophets of his time So much so that they were even questioning who Jesus was. And it says maybe he's like John the Baptist. But even John knew that he was supposed to baptize greater men. And as we are here today, it seems like we may know this scripture and this Bible better than most. Because we have spent our lives dedicated to it. But truthfully, it is our responsibility to go into the, the dirtiest of dirties, to, to know the word of God, simply to baptize greater men than us. John the Baptist said that to Jesus, I can't, I'm not even worthy to fasten your bootstraps. That is how unworthy I am of this ministry that I've been, been, been charged upon. And in that same spirit, this baptism is not only us, doing our ministry, but to say to you that you can be greater than us. That's your ministry, and we hope that our, your ministry will be greater than anything that we could do. And that's why we, we pass on this ministry. I want you to know, John, that, that what God has in store for us, we can only hope, just like we hope on our children, that their lives become better than ours. Amen. That their ministries are bigger and better than ours. And that the things that we can't do, that you can do. That the things that we wish we could do, that you could do. And that the lives that we can't save, the lives that we can't touch, the lives that we can't possibly reach out, that you can. And that's our hope for your ministry. And as you enter these waters, the baptism is not just a ritual, but coming into a newer and greater ministry. That's it. Thank you, Brother Eli. Dios bendiga a nuestro hermano Eli por estas hermosas palabras. Ahora voy a invitar a nuestro hermano John to enter the waters in the name of Jesus. I want you to remember, John, that today you are responsible. Heavens are open, and they are watching everything that you are doing today. And the angels, hallelujah, are rejoicing in heaven. Because you have repent, you have believed, you have obeyed, and now you are to do the ultimate leaving the life behind for a new life at this time. Señor Jesús, 
En estos momentos, Señor, aleluya, yo te presento, Señor, a este hijo tuyo. A este varón, Señor, su nombre es John Barton Ford. Esperando, Señor, aleluya, que en este mismo instante o el día que él decidió bajar a las aguas bautismales, Señor, tú hayas ya escrito su nombre en el libro de la vida. Aleluya, believe in the Lord that you have already written his name, aleluya, in the book of life. His name is John Barton Forbes, Lord, aleluya. And as I baptize this man in your name, aleluya, that you will bless his life abundantly from this moment on, aleluya. And I, as a servant, aleluya, of God, As a servant, hallelujah, of this people, as a servant of this family, Lord, hallelujah, I pray for him and his family also. Amen. Now, Amen. Brother John, as a member of the family of Christ, and also as a minister of my Lord Jesus Christ, also as a servant of you and your family and the members that we are about to have. I'll baptize you in the name of Jesus for the remission of your sins and God will give you his Holy Spirit. Amen. John Barton Forbes, I baptize you in the name of Jesus for the remission of your sins. Hallelujah. And God will give you his Holy Spirit. Juan Barton Forbes, yo te bautizo en el nombre de Jesucristo para perdón de tus pecados y el Señor te dé el don del Espíritu, no, el Espíritu Santo. En el nombre de Jesús. Señor por tu hijo Aleluya Señor que tu padre en este día Señor Aleluya una vez más cumplas todos sus sueños Señor alábale mi hijo alábale mi hijo alábale mi hijo alábale mi hijo Aleluya This is the day that the Lord has made This is the day that the Lord has made Aleluya Rejoice Rejoice Aleluya There is a peace there is a party in heaven at this time Lord Aleluya because this man has decided to follow you has decided to choose you has decided Aleluya to worship you in Jesus name You can cry on your one at this time. Hallelujah. Llorale, llorale, alabale, 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 llorale, llorale, llorale. Hallelujah. Él es digno de tu adoración. Él es digno de tu alabanza. Hallelujah. En el nombre de Jesús. En el nombre de Jesús, Señor. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, Señor.